Uh, <coughs> uh, we're, we're still alive. Oh, damn. Uh, system idle. Uh, we've launched ourselves into the body of the many. And it didn't go so well. Oh, no, we're... We are in the horrible many now. The many hold sway here. Even I cannot maintain contact. You are on your own, hu human, human. Fail me not. Great. So, oh, just listen to all the sounds when we walk. Lovely. Oh yeah, these logs. Fred Fontaine, he's the scientist. He, this, these are awesome. Just listen to them. One of the flying things dragged me and David here last night. I don't remember much about the trip. I guess I must have blocked it out, half conscious most of the time. I keep remembering the part from Pinocchio, you know, where the old man goes looking for the puppet inside the whale. Except I don't think anyone's coming in here to save me. Right, um, I'm running away from enemies because, you know, shooting is pretty loud and I want you to hear the logs in their entirety because they are very, very awesome. Hello? Oh, thank you. We invite you to spread yourself out on our ward. One. One of our many will be there to help you before long. Yeah. Oh, I can hear one of the angry guys. Oh, how nice. Now, as you can see, this is actually the outside of the Rickenbacker. We are on the... Shut up. Or horrible. This is the outside of the, the ship, so, you know, this is normally where space would be. Fortunately, there's air inside for some reason. Oh, come on, get up. Can we please get away from that thing? Oh, jeez. Oh, great. More flies. Oh, get away. Oh, for Pete's sake. Ow! Oh! How many are there? Whoa! What the heck is going on? So annoying. Can I stay here? Nope, they're gonna get me. Alright, enough please. Finally. Jeez. Hi there. Please make your selection. <laughs> Hi there. You know, there's no problem. We're in this horrible thing. Hi there. Oh, Hi there. I'm Please make your selection. Wow. I am low on medical hivos. Hi there. Damn. Please make your selection. Reinitialize. That's no good. Right, what do we need for this? Asium. Technetium? I think I need this as well. For this thing. Let's see. No, I need copper. Anything in here? Oh. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Ah! Always the last one. Ah. Finally. I'm not sure that was worth it, but anyway. <laughs> jump. Oh, jump. Come on. Oh, you little bastard. Molybendium. I don't think I need that, right? So, come on. No! I don't need any of these. That's a bit annoying, to be honest. Hossium, I don't have that. But I think I'm going to take these. Just in case. I'm going to... Just put it in here, I guess. Technetium. Items oh. Okay, I'm gonna drop the side reaver. Oh, we've already done this. Why? Okay. So I can just drop it and pick up these things. No problem. Oh, there are the eggs. Very, very annoying. Items Tellurium. Well, nowhere to put it, I guess. I guess I could just drop the auto repair units 
You know, they're very nice, but I don't really have a use for them right now. Maybe for a... actually... Items dropped. Maybe for a fusion cannon if we can get to it. Sorry, I'm just being a bit stupid here. You know what? This can go. Items I've got dropped. strength of six, so uh, I think I still get... Yes, I get strength of seven. <laughs> That's quite nice. But don't need it. Anyway, let's go hello to the big guy. Where is he? Hello. Thank you. Now, I never know where exactly to go in this place. I think this is the horrible... Yeah. This is where we need the hazard suit, because there will be a lots of radiation and everything. Ten cyber modules... Oh! Ow! Damn you! Ah yes, we did need to go here. Listen to that! Horrible. Because uh, when you uh, destroy this nerve cluster, some doors will open that are connected to the nerve cluster. Go figure. Right, so uh, I don't actually need my anti-radiation suit. Huh. Where am I? Wait, before going here, I just want to check that other place. I think they will uh, connect to each other anyway, but I just want to make sure. And uh, Korenchkin wanted to get the ship to Earth with this thing? No way. What the heck? Oh, a log. Now I'm convinced that this many as it calls yeah, itself, I think this is it. indeed has a centralized nervous yep. system, which means we would have to have some kind of centralized control. To this end, I've gathered as many weapons as I could and stashed them in caches. One of the beasts discovered a cache and apparently mistook it for food. It simply brought it into the crunching room. <laughs> See, these logs are awesome. The arterial passageways are blocked by some kind of sphincter. I follow the nerves that thread it out of the walls from the blockage. They lead to a pair of nerve clusters. When the passageway is open, the cluster seems to contract. Conversely, I wonder if I was able to destroy both clusters. It would open the blockage permanently. I'm anxious to see the rest of this beast. A true scientist in uh, mortal danger and he's still... You know... Oh, come on. He's still interested in everything. Now, this is useless to me. Unfortunately. Oh, come on. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. You... Bastard. This is 35! This is not 35! This is ridiculous! <sighs> Everything for 63. How much was it? 20 per attempt? I've made three nanites. Oh. Well, now I can't get past this place. Come on. <laughs> Uh, so annoying. Uh. Yeah, this game is old. It's not that good at representing, um, you know, non-square stuff. But you have to admit, I mean, with the, uh, with how old the engine is, they've done a pretty darn good job with this place. Oh, great. Hello. You know, I really like it that you're half transparent. That really helps. I'm just gonna use this thing. Shotgun, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll definitely need our hazard suit here because there's a lot of radiation. There we go. I wanna pick that up. And still, even though we have the radiation suit, we're getting uh, radiation, but I'm, I can just use. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow! Alright, where's the sphincter? Oh, I think we need to keep going. Wait, did I come from here? I think I, I, 
think I did, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going this way. Come on. Let me past. Eh! Let me past! There we go. The machine mother cannot help you inside the biomass. Her coldness is not, Her coldness is not welcome within the world. The Great, you know what? First I'm gonna take care of the sphincter. What what's going on? Am I am I drowning or something? I think it's just the radiation, right? Ow. No, actually I think I'm drowning as well. It just doesn't say. Ow, 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 that's not good. Sure. Whoa, that was... that's weird. Yeah, this place is a bit of a mess. Oh! Oh, no, 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 wait. I want to destroy this membrane, so I can get to the... Oh, that was not bad. Right, as I said, this place is a mess, and never know where to go. So where have we been? I think we need to go this way, or is this where we came from? I don't know. Eh. More radiation. No, that's not it. I thought it was. But it is not. Ow! Bloody sphinx. With no thought of compassion, compassion. Do, you do you think, think we, we will sit idly by? Yes. While you corrupt the very room of our existence. Oh, I'm sorry, but, uh... I don't think you have any, any, um, right to speak about corruption, because bloody hell- Oh, we've been here, right? Yeah. Because bloody hell, you've been corrupting the entire crew. So, you know, just stop it, sister. It's not gonna work. Alright, let's go back out. I think this is where we need to go back out anyway. Right. I've used up quite a few of anti-radiation hypos, but that's fine. Radiation can be mitigated with medical hypos and stuff as well. So, right. Membrane. Oh, another one of those. Hello. Nice. Great. Oh, I can hear one of those. Midwives! Haven't seen, seen you in a while. Hello. Okay, so you try to build a shelter or something. Oh, good luck with that. Oh, don't want to get stuck there. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh. Come on, I've destroyed this. Why did it open? I do like how everything is destroyed and... You know. Alright, so... What do we need for this thing? Hassium. Uh... Let's find it. Hassium, there we go. Don't need these things. Hassium? What next? Uh, technetium. There we go. Yes, and we also have the lab assistant, so we're researching much faster than normal. Let's repair the shotgun. I can't believe I'm still uh, holding the shotgun with me. Usually I've uh, I've dropped it in favor of, you know, the assault rifle and to get some more space. Chemicals needed research. Lots of this stuff here. Some more upgrades, which we don't really need. Hi there. Hello. Please make your selection. Another technetium. Oh no, just this one. Ah. All right. What's the other one we need? Copper. And this one. Let's see. 
Nope, copper, there we go. But for this one... Oh. Cesium. Uh, I think I've seen it as well. Cesium, there we go. And in the meantime, we can uh, read this. This armor provides both combat and environmental protection, as well as increases the wearer's psi stat by two. However, however, it slowly drains the user's psi points. Hasium. There you go. Uh, this warm skin has been fashioned into a crude body covering suitable for a human to wear. The skin is far tougher than its biochemical makeup would suggest, and further investigation demonstrates a subtle repulsive effect that appears to be psionically generated. The fact that the effect is still active in combination with the slowly continuing metabolic processes in the skin indicates that the skin is some sense in some sense still alive. Oh, yeah. Wearing the warm skin as a piece of armor will provide some physical and environmental protection and will increase the wearer's size statistic. However, it will be a continuous psionic drain on the wearer to keep from being attacked and consumed by the skin. Ugh. Let's try that. Warm skin. 20 defense, that's not good, but it does offer 30 radiation and toxicity. But that's, that's just crap compared to all of this. So anyway. Ah, this is about to be complete as well. Anything else over there? I don't think there is. Oh yeah. Uh, what do we need? Copper. Let's do that in the meantime. I hope this is not boring, but it is quite interesting, all this stuff. Alright, Copper, where are you? Radium. Magnesium, selenium. Nope, there's no copper here. Oh. Let's see what this is. While this implant is powered, the user takes no damage from analyte toxin and will regenerate one hit point for 30 seconds. Unfortunately, when the implant ceases being powered or is removed, a great deal of toxin is released into the user's bloodstream. Make sure you have some antitoxin hypos handy. Is a combination of blood filtering device and re regenerative stimulator. Using analyte regenerative... No. Yes. Tissue as an adjunct. While the implant is warm, it sequesters all analyte venom that the user is subject to, preventing it, preventing it from acting. I'm sorry, I can't read today for some reason. Additionally, damaged tissue is replaced quickly by a psychocreative analyte substitute. However, the substitute tissue produces some amount of degradation byproduct, which is itself is toxic and sequestered by the implant. However, when the implant loses power or is removed, much of the sequestered sequestered venom is released. This device is not recommended for frequent use because of the danger of the toxin damage upon removing the implant. However, its regenerative and toxin protection properties may well be invaluable in a very dangerous situation. I am not sticking that thing into myself. That sounded wrong, I know, but I stand by it. I'm definitely not screwing around with that. Uh, I, uh, blah, 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 let's do cyber affinity. Using up all my, um... Oh, for Pete's sake, I've just upgraded Cyber Affinity, it's 25% difficulty. That... This is not 25%, that's ridiculous. How many prisms do we have? 117, that would be quite nice. For, uh, for the fusion cannon. Uh, oh yeah, and if you want to go through here, well... Better luck next time! Hello, worm! <laughs> Horrible. Right. Let's show the many how awesome we are, right? Yeah. Where are you? Good night. That was quick. More cyber modules. Huh. Ah, this is open now. Uh, what's over here? I think it's just a circle. Yeah, pretty much. Right. So, we've opened these, uh, this sphincter here. This big one, because we've destroyed both of the... You seek your associates, but you cannot find them. You are so very alone. How does it feel to be one against the infinite? You know what? It's quite nice. 
Oh yeah, this place. This place is pretty darn cool. Two of them. Probably another spider. Right, so this is... Five minutes ago, one of those large, burly creatures drank plummet towards the sound of grinding. Apparently, the enemy uses smaller creatures to help move food along its digestive tract. I tried to help plummet, but it wasn't even a contest. And I'm ashamed to admit, I judged that seeing what happened to her was a vital element of my studies here. I imagine I won't have the opportunity I hope you can hear that because it's really loud here. So, I don't know. ah, this part. Now I'm gonna save it this part because it's a little bit annoying. You gotta be careful. Oh no, I know. See, I've already jumped down, but well. Oh, what's this place? Oh. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, we need to get up here. And then not crushed by the other tooth. Ah! And then we need to wait. We need to get up here, right? Yep. Uh, this was a this was a ladder here, by the way. That's why it seemed so weird. But no, 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 no! I didn't want to jump. Crap. That's uh, what I'm talking about. That was our second death in the entire game, I believe. Now let's go uh, take that again. Ten cyber modules. Don't really need them at this point, but oh well. Now the the teeth are in synchronous, so you know. Uh, you won't get necessarily crushed. Right, this is this is what you can climb. There we go. Now, uh, I'm gonna save again because this is really annoying. Where do we need to go? Over there, right? I just can't see it. Come on, jump. Uh, all right, over there. New, new. Oh crap. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's how I like it. Moving inside of us. The sensation. The sensation is repulsive. Really? Now watch out for these things. They will blow you into the the ceiling and it can very well kill you. I can hear more of everything. Oh, bloody hell. What was that? Oh, God. I can hear it getting closer. Besides the parasitic behavior evidenced in the life cycle of the human animal hybrids, it's becoming clear to me that Shodan has bred the many to use humans for other purposes. First of all, the Mini clearly has the capability to convert human flesh to energy. It can eat us, but it can also directly use us in the creation of its egg pods. Corpses are fed into some kind of tubular structure, and eggs are birthed through a nearby tube. I've been unable to determine whether the organism is directly converting the corpses into egg structures or not, but it's clear that there's some connection between the nutrient pool we provide and the eggs that are being produced. Yeah. So, we are also fruit for them. Alright. While I don't understand the analyte life cycle fully, 
It's clearly extremely diverse. The eggs produce either a male or a female spore. The male, the drones, are wasp-like creatures. The female are worm-like annelids that seek out a host to infect. Following infection, the host begins to transform into a human annelid hybrid. From that point, the life form can take numerous paths. Ugh. I believe this path is determined by the many itself. The creatures have communicated their need to grow the biomass, so I imagine that biological material is their primary resource. Therefore, each path has costs and benefits. The proto-arachnid is extremely quick and potentially relatively cheap in biomass. The hulking, fleshy ones are powerful, but are clearly a larger investment. I've observed only one example of the floating organisms. The only comfort is that the more dangerous organisms are more costly to produce. Damn, these explosions are so loud, you can barely hear the, uh, the logs. Wow. I'm getting a bit impatient, aren't I? I'm using grenades against bloody eggs. Shouldn't be doing that, but I have quite a few of them. Get away! Ow! So annoying. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. Not for a single antitoxin hypo. Do you, do I want to go down there? I, where are you? I can't see you. Oh, there's a head here. How oh, nice. Where are you? Oh! Right there. Huh. They grow up so fast. Oh. Your time is running out. There's a room where we grow our, our future. future. All you have is your hatred and your individuality. Now don't you wish you joined us? Would you then feel so alone? No, I don't actually feel like joining you at all. Especially after seeing everything you did to us. No, no, no. These things are horrible. Out of ammo for shotguns. How about that? But it has served us well, that's for sure. Lots of grenades around here. Lots and lots and lots. Lovely sounds. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Not the damn insects again. Come on. Alright, so this was apparently useless. Huh. Was this really just an ammo run here? No, it wasn't. Never mind. And all of it moves if you haven't seen. These are not the upda updated textures, unfortunately. Wait, are we supposed to go up there? Huh. I think we are. Huh. How am I supposed to get up there? Right, I've opened that, but I can't really get up there, so... Do I really have to backtrack all the way? No, wait, there was another entrance here, wasn't it? Yeah. Sort of. Uh, yeah, this place is a big maze. Oh, no, wait. That's the head. So we need to go left. And that's pretty much the same thing, apparently. Yes. Great, okay. So was this really just a stash of ammunition and nothing else? I can hardly believe that. Right, well, let's go back to that big uh, place then. Uh, whoa. We came from there, right? Already been here. Right, this is where the l rumbler came from, so this is where we're going. Yep, that's the nerve thingy. Another rumbler. Man, they're tough. Very dramatic.
with only a few short years of evolution, they have been able to conquer this starship, mankind's mightiest creation. Where were we after 40 years of evolution? What swamp were we swimming around in, single-celled and mindless? What if Shodan's creations are superior to us? What will they become in a million years, in ten million years? No, no. What's clear is that Shodan shouldn't be allowed to play God. She's far too good at it. <laughs> I like that. Oh, this place. Alright. Well, I'm afraid we're all out of time, but, uh, yeah. We'll have to continue this next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Shit! Ah! Ah!